Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful, lovely day. Thank you, Lord, for the breath that's in my body right now. Thank you for keeping us alive and strong. Thank you for the talents and gifts that you give us. Thank you for the patience that you have with us. Thank you for the ability that we have, that each and every person has, that makes them unique from every other person. Thank you, Father, for the patience that you have with us when we don't even have patience with each other. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful world that we live in, that even in the midst of this difficult time that we're going through right now, that it is still a beautiful, lovely world that we live in. Thank you for strength in our bodies. Thank you for keeping us alive. You are keeping us alive every single moment. Thank you for the beautiful sky. Thank you for the lovely land. Thank you for the beautiful water. And thank you for the creatures that you have put in the earth. Thank you for all that we can see and enjoy and experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You are so great. You are so wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for being patient with us. Thank you, Lord, for such beauty that we pass by each and every day that we don't always really recognize. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the beauty in this world. Thank you, Lord, for things that are here always for us to enjoy, that sometimes we just have to slow down and take a look and see. Things that we don't always appreciate or see. Things that we don't always appreciate that are always here for us to appreciate. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with us when we're not patient with each other, when we ought to be patient with each other. Thank you, Father, for my wife for 40 years has been very patient with me. Thank you for my lovely daughters who make me very happy. Thank you for allowing me to be a father and a husband, to be able to enjoy my own children, to have children that actually love me and care about me. Thank you for the beautiful plants and things that are in the earth. Thank you for life that's all around. There is so much for us to appreciate. You are so great, Lord. The world that you have made is astonishingly great. Even in the midst of the curse, things thrive. Animals go on and move day to day. The animals praise you. The birds sing to you. And they praise you and they give you glory. Why don't we do that? I will do it, Lord. We should praise you and thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for our minds, the ability that we have to create, the ability that we have to invent. You have given us so much. Man is astonishing in that just in himself and yet we don't give you that praise but we should we go on about our days not realizing how good you are we go on about our days how not realizing how fearfully and wonderfully we are made we take it for granted because we have it but we thank you Lord because we know that these things are here because of you this world has its problems. The enemy has done all he can to destroy us. But the reality is life is good because you are good. Thank you, Lord, that we can stop for a minute and look around and see 
and appreciate life. Appreciate what's in front of us. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate everything that we have. It's a wonderful thought. There's so much we can be thankful for if we take the time. So let's take the time each and every day to be thankful for what God has done. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We don't understand a lot of what we see and what we do every day. And yet there's so much beauty in the earth that we just miss. Thank you, Lord, for being patient with us. Even in the midst of our own stupidity, our own lack of patience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, you are good. And your mercy endures forever. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.